So today's event is very much about recognising the importance of Aberdeen as a deal-making centre and also discussing some of the big issues for everyone involved in making deals actually happen. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and may I add my welcome to our second Aberdeen Deals and Dealmakers Business Breakfast. It's good to see so many of you here, and I do hope you find this event informative and helpful, especially in these challenging times for the North East. Here to deliver this year's keynote speech at the Deals and Dealmakers Business Breakfast, please give a very warm welcome to Ewan McLean. With sustained lower oil prices affecting North Sea field economics, the recent tax cuts announced by George Osborne last Wednesday are welcomed, and not before time. This, coupled with the industry response to reducing our high operating costs, improves market confidence and it enables operators and service companies alike to make longer term business decisions, providing better security for the sector locally. Until the market improves, I just think private equity will, 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 will probably uh, choose not to sell the assets that they're invested in and banks I don't think will end with much enthusiasm. So I think the traditional deal market that we're involved with I think is going to go through a very difficult six months or so, but I do predict uh, a strengthening of activity towards the end of this year. I think uh, we're going to see uh, trade to trade strategic plays, we'll see some opportunistic equity, uh, I think we'll have reorganizations, sale of non-core and some distressed activity, but I, I'm hopeful that but once that cycle has played out, we'll go back to far more positive uh, M&A again. And thank you once more for getting up so early to come here. And I really do hope 12, 2015 is an amazing year of deals and deal making in the North East. Thank you for listening and look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Thank you.